to show up and quit your work. Doing an on-site inspection. I probably told you that, right? I'm not going around inspecting. Nah, you got to. Show us what we're doing right. Show us what we're doing right. Then he's going to say to you, you know what? <laughs> There it is. <laughs> now, of course, not many students have noticed this, but they don't have to, right? They're in, well, they're in the water. As long as, as long as the environment provides for that. Right, right, that right, right. Nicholas, this is the guy. Nicholas is our English teacher. This is our English Hi. department right here. Hi. This is Jin Jin Lundy. Good to see you again. Good. How are you? Good. Good. And is that working? The, the pullouts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we should do. The offline room. Yeah, of the three rooms, I'd say this is the, the lab that uses it the most, the offline, yeah. because we can still be monitoring. It's very easy to pull a student over rather than going out into the hall. No, no, it's better. Yeah. Because someone, but it also gives them a chance to look, up, make sure things going on okay here. Right. Even if you have two teachers in the room, that teacher can be monitoring over here. Yeah. That's I mean, the idea. They, they see each other. Right. <laughs> That's for sure. So. No, I like this. I do this too. Room, this room is a good one. Yeah, th this is the closest to, I think, what you're talking about in your blog. If it doesn't happen in this room, it's not going to happen anywhere. And this is the one they enter, so they, they have to get that culture. I want you to know, if it doesn't happen here in this room, it's not going to happen in the other rooms. Miss Lundy, we just got ourselves um, served. And this is the easiest room. <laughs> From an educational point of view, this is the easiest room to do the second piece. When he says the second piece, he's talking about the projects in the discussion section, which we're having a hard time integrating. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Part of our problem is that our reward system is based on quizzes. Those quizzes measure what? Very simple levels of comprehension. Right. There's not much analysis, not much synthesis, not much debate and argument. None of that's going on in that level. That's the problem. Because that's why we're Model T. The first level is the one we forget the easiest. So we learn it for a quiz and we've got it. The only good thing about this LK pace, it keeps going back. So you, you're learning in three, four, five different environments. Right. Although it's all CAI. So the challenge we have is sometimes students are different levels, and how do you pull the right group out for that discussion? That's the you, you, challenge we're facing, I think. You purposely, you purposely pull the group out, mm -hmm. and you can take it, you can accommodate in the projects the variations of where students are by differentiating the responsibility for the total project into pieces. So someone who's farther ahead maybe takes the lead. If someone's a good reader, mm -hmm. you put it, he, that person could head up a project. Okay. But if someone is a poor reader, you don't give them as much reading. Right. You give them something that's a little simpler right. to contribute back to the project. Right. So you differentiate the responsibilities so you select people for that in that way. No different than when we were kids on the streets. We chose sides. We got the two best guys never playing on the same team. Right. So you wouldn't put your two best people no, in a no, project no. together. The two so. best right. are two sides. Mm -hmm. And it, if you want to play on the street, that's how we. That's how yeah. we. Right. You had a good game. Right. Well, that's yeah. the only way you can have a right. good game. Yeah. I was. I was the last one chosen. But well, I was yeah, an right. excellent. <laughs> okay. Right. But you, <laughs> but you always. You always did that. Right. 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 But you right, have right. to do the same thing in your project orientation. Okay. And some groups have. Some yeah. groups you make a little larger. But there's got to be room for this one that's at the bottom to participate in the interactions that occur. Right. The responsibility. The contributions. All that kind of stuff. That's what I call the soft skills. 
because when they get out of here, they're probably not going to work by themselves. They're probably going to be working with a group doing something. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so is it posters that they do mostly if you have a project related to English? I know that's what I do. It's an easy one for math, posters. But do what do you can. guys do? That's where the creativity of the, of the people oh. in this kind of an environment, because you can't mm -hmm. have them sitting four hours a day just sitting with CAI. But I call that Model T Ford. The CAI is the Model T Ford. It runs, but it's not going to get you very far in our culture. Right. You got to move up by by combining the CAI with other other groupings that enable them to to, to develop the comprehension, see what they're learning, see how it's related to something else that's going on in the and it's, that's where the creativity of the teacher comes in. How do we do that? So that's, he's here to remind us that, because it's a lot easier for us just to plug in numbers. I'll take you up to see Savane. Thanks. So things are going well here now?